Salut, yes seven, bienvenue au quatrième, un, deux, trois, quatre, oui, le quatrième vidéo aujourd'hui. Right guys, so welcome to the fourth video, as I've just said, still on free time. We've talked about internet and last lesson we started talking about what sports. We looked at this key verb here, jouer, and we went through all the sports you'll need to know. We talked about what came after jouer today. It's a big test on this. I'm going to test your reading and listening skills. I'll tell you all about it in a second. But first, you know what to do. Hello, year seven. S'il vous plaît, copiez la date. You inventez la date. Copiez le titre. Et ici, c'est le post-it. Comment dit-on? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 en français. Put me on pause, guys, and do those tasks. Alors, on recommence, right, guys. So, um, hopefully you've got the date and title in your book. If you're working on the sheet, don't worry about doing that. Just save your sheet somewhere in your area. If you've not thought about a post note challenge, pause me and have a think now. First three we looked at last time, we got three more classics here that are tougher. So today, guys, you're understanding people talking about sport. We're going to do some reading and listening of some real French people talking about what sports they do. Now, remember what we said about this. Yes, it's important for your exams, but guys, it's, it's more than that. Sport brings people together of every different nationality. The one thing you have in common with everyone in the whole world is a love of sport. It's a human thing. So we're going to communicate it in French today and we're going to test you. How well do you understand real French people telling you about what sports they like? This is your difficult challenge for today, guys. I know you're up for it. Let's start with our post-it note test. So I do that is je fais ça. Such a useful little phrase. Use it. I play at football. Remember, in French, you say you play at a sport. That's what sounds right. Here's our four words for that, for at, which one was it? Should be, je joue au foot. Voilà, every day is tu les, tu les, tu les gens. He has brown hair, a classic. Now be careful with this, because you don't say brown hair, you say, il a les cheveux bruns. Voilà, alors numéro 5, she is quite, elle est assez, et finalement, he is very, il est très. Et voilà, All right guys, this is our six phrase post-it note test today. Let's get you started. We'll be starting on a little vocab work. Alors, comme hier, exactement comme hier. Ici, vous avez les mots en anglais. Ici, vous avez les mots en français. Tout seul, il faut dire anglais, français, anglais, français, anglais, français. Rapidement, je vous donne un exemple maintenant. Alors, I would say that, je dirais que, I am quite sporty, je suis assez sportif, I play, je joue, we play, nous jouons, you play, tu joues, vous jouez, boom. Guys, take one minute now, have a look at what you can do, and then restart me when you're ready. Alors, mes petits, you've got 36, 36 seconds until our, all our words disappear. Good luck, don't start until I tell you. 3, 2, 1, wait for it, allez Allez, 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 mes petits. Le premier colonne s'est disparu. Rapidement, l'enfant. <rire> rapidement, rapidement, rapidement. 10 secondes, j'imagine. Alors, et 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alors, c'est fini tout le monde. Bon effort. You seem ready for our next challenge. You knew this was coming year seven. Alors, one minute, pause me. Have a little look. Make sure you can complete all of these sentences before we move on. When you restart me, I'll do the countdown. Alors, year seven, bon courage. Et toi, deux, un, allez. Rapidement, mes petits, first column's almost gone. Allez, allez, allez. Et la deuxième colonne commence à disparaître. Rapidement. Allez, 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 mes petits. Et 5, 4, et 3, 2, 1. Et c'est fini, right guys, excellent effort here, hopefully you've warmed up well, you know what's coming. Alors, maintenant, c'est en contrôle de vocabulaire. Alors, remember, just like all sporting events, I'm afraid our MFL Lotto will be postponed for the moment, so I can't give you any golden tickets. This 
is a massive vocab test today. There's no way you get a golden ticket on this. It is too hard. We don't expect you to get full marks, guys. 12 will be a very good mark. Look at that. You can drop nine marks and still get a very strong grade. 15 will be very difficult. 18 or more is an exceptional score. I don't think this can be done. Is it impossible? We're about to find out. Alors donc, il y a un, deux, trois parties aujourd'hui. Je vais expliquer en français. Le premier, complete this with our verb jouer. So there's jouer. What you do to that ER? Hiya. And then, what you need to add here for each one. So if I give you the first one, it would be je. And then I've chopped off the ER. So this would go je, je. And then, What's our ending for je? What's our ending for tu? What's our ending for il, elle, on? So it's always you, and then it's the right ending, guys. That is going to be tough today. Six marks available. Alors, la deuxième activité, c'est ici. What are the words for at? Don't look at your book. Can you remember them? De, 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 de. What do you reckon they could possibly be? Write them in there if you can. Alors, et numéro 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. La deuxième partie ici. Il faut traduire les phrases. Ici, en français. Donc, I am very sporty. How do you say it? I am, what's the word for very? And then what's sporty? Remember, there's two A's for masculine and feminine. If you can do both, I'll give you a bonus mark. How about that? Two marks available for number one. Et toi, quatre, cinq, six, il faut mettre le mot dans le bon espace. Donc, je joue, suis, foot. I play, am, football. Non, ce n'est pas. Alors, donc, trouver le mot. Pour compléter la phrase ici. Guys, this is tough today. Give yourself a five minute timer on your phones. When it goes off, I'll go through the answers. Alors, bon courage. Put me on pause. On y va. Alors, right guys, let's see how we've done and what you think. So, let's go through our answers. Prenez un stylo rouge pour moi, mes petits, et on y va. Alors, numéro un, ici. Uh, you have to complete our verb. This is so tough today. There's six marks available. This is how it goes. It goes, je joue, tu joues, yes, il, elle, on joue. Nous jouons, vous jouez, ils, elles. You say joue, but it's got an end in an e, n, t. Voilà, All right, guys. So if you've got this verb, excellent effort, six marks. If you didn't, why don't you pause the video, have a little practice, and then come back to it. Right, guys. So six marks available there. You can get four more, ten marks available in the first two activities. How do you say at? There were four ways. Alors, c'est O, à la, à le, O, with an X on the end. O, à la, à la, O, O, à la, à la, O. Excellent if you've got those. Guys, if you've got four marks so far, you've done really well. You only need two to hit this. If you haven't, don't worry. 12 today is our pass mark. These were still tough. Let's go through them. I am very sporty, c'est je suis très sportif. For masculine, sportif for feminine. Remember, I said if you had both, I'd give you a bonus mark. So two marks available there if you've gone for it. Numéro deux, je joue fut maison avec me. All right, there's almost as many words missing here as there are written. Let's go for it. You should have je joue au... Oh, pardon, I missed out on number two. I play in the garden, je joue au jardin. X and F if you got that. All right, now to number three. Je joue au foot à la maison avec mes amis. Guys, if you got that, a really good effort. Numéro 4, je dirais que je suis assez sportif. This, je dirais que, means I would say that. It's a key GCSE phrase. If you got that, brilliant. 12's the target, guys. You might need a mark or two off these last two. Numéro 5, the nu. So think about our ending for new, which one is it? Should be new, jouons au tennis tout le temps, which says we play tennis all the time. Excellent. If you got those two, all right, one more left. My parents is they, so it's mes parents jouent au volet au centre sportif. Right, guys, an excellent effort. Extra challenge then. I'll give you one mark just for having a go. Well done. And sec a second mark. If you've got it absolutely perfect, it should be. Il n'est pas très sportif. Il surfe sur internet tout le temps. That is a hard one, guys. A really, really good effort. Give us a couple score out of 21, 12 or more. You've done yourselves very proud there, guys. 
Hello, all right guys, so excellent effort on a vocabulary. Today then, we're gonna test you on this using Jui. We're gonna test you on people talking about sports and that's where we come to our first activity. Hello, all right guys, so on your sheet, on the handout, you've got a text, but you've got a lot of missing words. So on there, there's a little uh, link to follow. You need to go with your computer, you need to go on that link and type in that code or I'd copy and paste the code because it's got to be perfect and then it will load your sound file for today. What are you doing? It's loaded. Turn to the next slide and find out. Alors, donc, maintenant, il faut écouter l'enregistrement et il faut lire le texte et compléter le texte avec les mots qui manquent. D'accord? Tout le monde. So, have to go in English because you're all at home. Listen to the recording where I said it was and then complete this text in French if you can. Because you're at home, you don't have me leading it. You can stop, you can pause, you can rewind. Listen as many times as you want. That's activity one. Activité deux. Après avoir complété le texte, il faut écrire le nom de uh, joueur de sport à côté de phrases. Donc, who, vous avez un choix entre Michalak, Enin, Tony Parker, Benzema et Florent Maluda qui est d'accord avec les phrases ici. Donc, who is a football player who comes from France? Which one of these is a footballer? There's more than one, be careful. Who is French but plays for an American team? Alors, cherchez et il faut écrire le mot de person ici, tout le monde. This is a bit tougher today. Alors, guys, once you've done that, this is your next uh, challenge. Look in the text for these six words. Now, I've never taught you any of these, but you can work them out. See what you can do. Hello, and this is your extra challenge for today. I want you to pick your favourite sports player and answer these three questions. You can just do it in one sentence. Extra challenge only, guys. See if you can answer these for your favourite sports player. Hello, right, guys. So, you've got all this link to complete it. If you pause me now and give yourself 10 minutes, restart me and I'll go through the answers. Hello, year seven. Right, guys, let's go through the answers and see what you've got. Hello, donc, this is the first one then. If you listen listening along and you completed the text, this is what you should have. Don't worry if you made some mistakes, you spelled something wrong. As long as you're close, give yourself the mark. Have a little read through and check your work. Pause me now and then we'll move on to the next bit. Hello, right guys, let's go through the who's who. So there's six possible marks here and you had these French sports stars. Some of them are quite old. Some of them are still current. Uh, Karim Benzema still plays. He still plays for Madrid. Um, but some of them are definitely retired now. Michel Lac and Malouda. Right, let's go through it. So who is a football player who comes from France? That is Karim Benzema. He still plays for Real Madrid. Um, he's got an Algerian name, Algerian background, but he's a French player. Alors, numéro 2. Who is French but plays for an American team? C'est Tony Parker. So he plays for the San Antonio Spurs. He's a basketballer. Alors, numéro 2. Who is Belgian but speaks French? So they speak uh, French in a lot of Belgian. A lot of Belgians have really good French. Et la personne? C'est... Voilà, c'est Justine Henning. So she was a tennis player. She was quite successful. Um, not as successful as the Williams sisters, but she definitely played them in a few finals. Alors, numéro 4. Who's a footballer from French Guyana? C'est Florent Maluda. So French Guyana is in South America. It's the only French speaking bit of South America. And it is beautiful. I'd love to go there one day. Numéro 5. Who plays for a French team and for his country? C'est Frédéric Michalek. So he is a rugby player, a really famous rugby player in his day. If he's an who is French but is born in Belgium, was Tony Parker. All right, guys, so six marks available for that. Let's go on to the next challenges. Voilà, mes petits. So you have to look through this and find our vocab. This is what you should have. He's born in. Il est né un. So this word né means born. You will see this everywhere. He plays for. Il joue pas. He comes from. Il vient de. Belgian. C'est belge. Belgium, the country is Belgique. Okay, I always used to get them confused. Donc, Belge is Belgian, a person from Belgium. Belgique is the country Belgium. But c'est me. Right, guys, excellent if you got those six. If you got into this, a really good effort. I'd love to read them when we get back to school. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, so you've done really well on the vocab and the reading, but this next step is going to be tough. 
Hello, right guys, just like before, on your sheet you've got all the reading file, either listening file stuff you need. So if you go on this link and then copy and paste this code in, you'll get this listening today. I'm going to explain it completely in French. You've got six sentences here and three people. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? Il faut écouter l'enregistrement et il faut écrire le nom du person à côté du phrase correct. Donc, qui dit? Quelle person dit? I'm not very sporty, really. C'est Raphaël, c'est Zara, c'est Karim. Il faut écrire le nom ici aujourd'hui. Your extra challenge, they're going to say with my mates. Can you tell me what it is? So, Go on this listening now, listen to it. On the next slide, I've got the transcript for you so you can read along and then we'll go through the answers. Hello, all right guys, read through and check your work. Here's our transcript for today. Hello, and let's go for our answers then. Pause me and go back to the transcript if you're not ready. This is what you should have. I'm not very sporty really, c'était Karim Madissa, numéro 2. I love sport. I'm really sporty. C'était Raphael. Numéro 3, I'm quite sporty. C'était Zara. Alors, numéro 4, there's two people. I like playing sport computer games. Qui a dit ça? C'est Raphael et Zara. Voilà. Alors, numéro 5, I play snooker. C'est Karim. Et finalement, uh, table tennis is great. C'est Zara. Alors, donc, the extra challenge, did you get with my mates? It is, you said, avec mes copains. So you remember, ami means friends. Copain is another way of saying it. Guys, a really good effort. If you got four out of the whole seven, including the extra challenge, that's an excellent effort today. Allons, mes petits. Right, guys, so we're done for today. I'm just going to talk quickly about homework. Voilà, so... It's going to be really hard for me to set your homework on the right day on frog as well as setting the lessons and everything that goes with it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put the homework up for you all of it for this whole module and i want you to work through one each week so this is your homework for this week you've got um the er verb pattern to learn here and then you've got a little writing homework guys do it in your book if you don't have your book for any reason or your book is full you can you can type this up that's fine so we'll do one a week this week's challenge is homework one, but I've set it you all. If you've got more work to do, you can watch these videos again and, and get ahead. I do not mind that at all. Make sure you do your homework. These videos aren't enough themselves. You need to practice. Right, guys. So that's all for today. Pleasure to teach you again, year seven. Looking forward to seeing you all again soon. Take care. Uh, stay healthy. Alors, à la prochaine fois, mes petits chauffeurs. Au revoir.